clicking on my channel i'm glad you stopped by my name is yolanda from yolanda's journaling thank you for coming by for those who are new if you are new if you don't mind click that notification bell and subscribe to my channel you can like you can comment so you will never miss a video uploaded by me to those who are not new thank you so much for coming back thank you so much to my loyal subscribers so today is monday the 21st so let's talk about some of the books that I want to read for this month. And my month will roll over until uh, until the, the next month. So starting today, which is the 21st of August, my month will be from the 21st of August through the 21st of September. So that will be my month. So let's talk about some of the books that I have on my TBR to be read within this month. If you're wondering about my hair, I did a wash and go yesterday. It was my wash day. So I did a wash and go yesterday and the products that I use, which this video is not sponsored. I'm just sharing with you the products that I use for my wash and go because I have actually become very good with my wash and goes because I have actually started to accept my hair and my curl pattern and how my hair will actually look and like embrace it. So what I use is, yeah, I use a number of different products that I actually really like. So yesterday what I used, I used the Camille Rose, the cleansing shampoo. Um, and then I also used the, um, the conditioner with the, the macro pair. I can't really say it, but I use that one. It's like a curling custard. I let that stay on for about 10 or 15 minutes, um, up under a little hooded dryer. It's like a little bonnet looking dryer. I use that for about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, probably 20. Cause I love the decondition. And then after that, I wash that out. And of course, y'all, I wash my hair in the shower. I have noticed that washing your hair in the shower with it going down, you can actually detangle. You can um, make sure that the uh, products that were on your hair that you're trying to cleanse your hair with, it will actually like fall off the shafts of your hair. So I enjoy washing my hair in the shower, but yes, I do get lazy and I will wash my hair in the sink. But yesterday I washed it in the shower. Um, I used the Camille Rose, the cleansing shampoo, and the Moroccan pear custard. Oh God, y'all, it smells divine. Y'all need to try it. It smells so, so good. And then after I washed that custard out, I used a hydrating mask. And I let that stay in for about an hour or so, probably a little longer. Remember, I love the condition and um then i washed that out and i used this leave-in conditioner it was a spray um i'll have to go and look and see what the name of it was and i'll pop up a picture of that actual leave-in um spray it has like lemongrass and everything in it y'all it smells so freaking good i'm gonna pop up a picture to let y'all see what it is but i use that as my leave-in conditioner as versus a cream and of course my water oh y'all and um i have learned that to when you um saturate 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 your hair like i saturated my hair for like two minutes while i was in the shower and like those curls just start popping popping so just make sure that your hair is so so fairly well saturated with water um but anyway um after I did all of that, I used water, of course, to re-wet my hair, which my hair was already wet because after I washed it, I went ahead on and started my wash and go um, procedure. And what I do with my wash and go procedure, y'all, I use, I do small sections. I'm going to say that. I use small sections. I used to try to use really huge sections in order to get done with it, but I noticed that my hair don't get as defined as I would like for it to get. So I use very small sections and I shingle and I separate 
Um, and what I use for my wash and goes now is I use just mousse. I use leave-in conditioner and mousse. Um, lately, I've been using the Ducks, the Ducks, D-O-U-X. And they have this new one out that I used uh, yesterday. It is sexy, crazy sexy. <laughs> oh my God. Crazy sexy curl. I use that one and it has honey in it. So everything I try to use, you guys, I try to use with honey. So the products that I actually been using that I pretty much kind of like for my hair is the um, Camilla Rose. Camille Rose, I'm sorry. I use that mousse. I use the Camille Rose mousse too that has the honey in it. So like I said, everything that I use, I try to incorporate honey in it. has honey in it. And I learned that from Living Fearless. Alicia, shout out to you, girl. I learned that you, if you use everything that has pretty much honey in it, that your hair will get hydrated very, very well. Um, I use the Olaflex um, bonding shampoo, not shampoo, um, bonding cream before I actually wash my hair. So I put that all over my hair and y'all, those curls was just popping. They were just popping. Oh, I got something in the oven, y'all. But yeah, that's all that I use for my wash and go. And on day one, I try not to do too much to it because I kind of like want my curls to like really set in. And then after day one, then that's when I will actually start like um, picking and um, possibly stretch my hair with my Dyson. So yeah, that's my wash and go. So let's get into this video. <laughs> hey, you guys, I'm gonna get out for today. Um, what do I have planned for today? Yeah, my eye is so like bothering me. Ugh, I think I'm going to have to take this contact out. Put on my glasses for a little bit. But, um, what are my plans for today? I haven't been out in a couple of days, so I thought it was time for me to get out. Yes, I am in a different vehicle, not in my truck, which you know I love to be in my truck and talk to you guys. But um, what do I have to do today? I want to go to a place in my city called The Bookshelf and look for some books, or at least, I don't know, I think it's on my heart is to buy The Fourth Wing. So I might see if they have The Fourth Wing and buy The Fourth Wing today if they have it if not then i just want to buy anything cross your fingers <laughs> but i want to do that when i go to the bookshelf and i need to go to walmart because i need to like restock on some of my toiletry um products like my um body scrub and stuff like that and i need to get some potatoes to um so that we can cook tonight which i'm not cooking he's cooking um, so that we can cook tonight and I want to go to the park because I want to sit in the vehicle and read. I enjoy sitting in my vehicle and read. I don't know how many of you guys like to do that, but I like to sit in my vehicle and read. So we're going to do that. But first of all, yeah, I got to go to the gas station. But those are the only little plans that I have today. And then once we do all of that and we get back home, let me tell you, I will tell you about the, I'm going to tell you about three books that I want to read for this week. So this is still going to be about my TBR for the month, but how about we just go about it weekly? So once we get back home, let's talk about the three books or possibly two I'll say three because I'm about finished reading the book that I'm currently in, which is the off campus series. So let's say the three books that I plan on reading reading for this week. Let's see if I can read three books in a week. Let's see how far we can get. Let me challenge myself to see how far I can get to reading three books in a week. I'm not a really fast reader. I see a lot of people that I follow or like some people that I buddy with to read with. Um, I had to actually stop buddying with them to read because they read extremely faster than me. So I would like to try to pick up on the speed that I read, but I don't know if I can or I can't. So I'm challenging myself to that. Lately I've been feeling like somebody else. Heard you moving on with someone new My friend
friends keep telling me that it was for the best But I don't know if I will make it through Cause every morning I wish you were here with me Watching the sunlight fill my room Falling asleep at night Thinking about you and me Why did you have to be so cruel? Guess I should have known it from the start But baby, I was so caught up in you Picking up the pieces of my heart Oh baby, let me hold you I just wanna hold you Girl, I know we said some things we didn't mean But thought that we could figure this one out Y'all, I've heard so much about this product. So I said that I was going to try it out today. So I got the deodorant and I got the body wash. Falling asleep at night, thinking about you and me. Why did you have to be so cool? I guess I should have known it from the start. But baby, I was so caught up in you Picking up the pieces of my heart Oh baby, let me hold you I just want You have the time of your life Every single night The confetti's raining down You put your hands to the sky Center of the crowd You're the talk of the town all right guys i'm back home i didn't change into some lounge wear because i really do not like to just sit around the house in regular clothes i like to be in lounge wear because lounge wear is like cooler and they have some really nice looking lounge wear this is like my go-to lounge wear it's a little short outfit that I got from Target. But the three books that I said that I was going to read for this week, I'm going to finish up the deal from the Off Campus series. I'm not going to rant and rave about this book right now because I do that in another video. But this is one of the books that I will be finishing off for my three books for this week. And we'll say that this week started yesterday. Today is Monday. So week starts on a Sunday. Y'all, I got the fourth wing. I have been hearing and seeing so much about this book, y'all, and I was just so trying to wait for it to actually go down in price. I got this from the bookshelf in my city. I went to Walmart to do some shopping. I seen that it was like $9 cheaper, but I actually got two books in one. So at the bookshelf, it was buy a book, take a book. So I bought this book and then I took this book. It's called The Gay Best Friend. And I was asking her about what is this buy a book, take a book. And she said, well, if you buy this book, which is the fourth wing, you can get that one of those books for free. So I was like, okay, that's kind of cool. And she said, and it's very interesting, y'all, because she said that these books are like books that I don't think has actually been published yet or something like that. Like they're like, um, just like rough drafts of a book. So I don't think this book is actually like, she said, you'll see all like the little small mistakes that people make in books before they actually publish them. So I thought this was a good one to read the gay best friend by Nicholas Diddle Menz, whatever, but yeah, the gay best friend. So I ended up getting two books for one. I got the fourth wing finally and then i got the gay best friend and of course i went to the bookshelf in my city and um there was another book that i got yeah i got it from walmart the price was like seven bucks and something and it was just a cannot resist always unique by nikki turner i ended up getting this book so i bought three books today but 
the three that I just showed you guys would be the ones that I will be trying to get through for this week. But I kept reading, kept reading little parts of this book, and I was like, damn, I got to get this book. I just cannot leave this book in the store like it's only eight bucks. Like, there's a, I just got to get the book. So I ended up getting the book. There are three other things that I want to show you guys before I end this vlog. I have been hearing so much about these products, y'all. Almost every person's uh, vlog that I look at, they are always talking about these, this product. Either they are being sponsored by this product or they're not being sponsored by this product and they just love this product. So I ended up getting the body wash in the coconut and vanilla. It's sulfate, paraben, dye free. Um, so I ended up getting this. I want to see what the rent and rave about is about for this product. And I ended up also getting the deodorant. I, <clears throat> I got the Midnight Jasmine and Sage. It's paraben and aluminum free. I heard a lot of people talk about the aluminum free because of the aluminum free. Like, I never really thought about deodorant having aluminum in them or whatever. But I guess this is supposed to be like more natural. So I'm going to try this one. Um, very steep in price at Walmart. I think it was like $12.97, almost 13 bucks for just the deodorant and for the body wash it was like eight dollars and ninety something cents so pretty much nine dollars so i will be trying those two out and i wanted to get a body scrub i love the dove body scrub but walmart did not have any y'all they had no dove body scrubs and i was like what why but i noticed a person on their um vlog they picked up the dr teals i use the dr teals products but only like the epsom salt for like when i soak my body for that week or you know like if i had a really hard day at work or whatever and i just really want to relax i will use it then but now they have this new look dr teals sugar sh shea sugar scrub it's probiotic lemon balm so i was like hey they don't have what you want yolanda so just try something new and y'all it smells so good it smells so good and you can tell that it has so much sugar and like look at the consist look how it just rolls y'all i'm so excited to use this i'm going to use this tonight i usually try to do a scrub two to three times a week um whenever i uh at my bedtime y'all i'm looking at this bird in my front yard i don't know what it's doing but it's just so weird but anyway um yeah i usually try to do my scrub like two to three times a week i, I just love the way it makes my body feel and um another thing that i got y'all but i don't actually have it on hand is i got vaseline I usually during on my um when I do my facial care, I usually put like a, a bunch of different products and stuff on my face for my facial care. But I also some nights I just want to use just plain Vaseline. So I got a little, you know, how they have those little bitty containers of the Vaseline because I really didn't want a big one just for that purpose. So I got that little teeny bottle of vaseline which i will be using on my skin probably tonight i'll cleanse my skin and then i'll just use vaseline on my face and my neck other than using all the other products that i usually use but i will continue to use those products too but that's all you guys if y'all made it this far in this video thank you for joining me thank you for staying in this video with me again thank you to my loyal subscribers i really really appreciate and love you guys for the ones that is not subscribers, but you actually look at my videos, if you don't mind, just click that little subscribe button. It won't take you nothing about, nothing but about two or three seconds to just click that subscribe button and become a, a member of my family. Thank you guys for joining me again. Bye.